What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. So the video topic I wanna to talk about today is women cons are considering dating autistic men because they are quote unquote more honest than men like us, okay? I know it sounds crazy, but this is a story, y'all. So, um, uh, so I work in the weed industry and I, I see beautiful women all the time, all right? So uh, there's this young, I wanna say early 30s, I think she said she was like 32, 33, Russian chick. And she's been in the US, I think for like around 15 years. So she knows the culture, right? Um, and I also talked about, uh, I'm starting this, uh, I'm starting to build this podcast and what I was talking about, which is, you know, money, women, you know, masculinity, all this other stuff, self, self development, whatever, help men. And then she goes, yeah, like red pill content. So guys, letting you know, women are actually watching red pill content. All right. Be aware that they're understanding that men are like consuming this content and they're like, uh, they're being aware of it. So like they're not being manipulated and being finessed by men, you know? So what else? Oh yeah, she brings up a red flag here, guys. If a woman brings up love in the spectrum, love on the spectrum, it's just like this television show, uh, not television, it's a Netflix show about like autistic people going on dates and stuff. It's, it's funny. <laughs> it's really funny, guys. But uh, if you ever heard that from a woman, just run away, guys. Like they're they're just there to fuck with you at this point. I've I've definitely dated two girls that watch Love in the Spectrum, and they all just used me for my time and my energy and my attention, and they just went off and like three or four themselves to someone else. All right, they all they all monkey branch after <laughs> after they mention Love on the Spectrum for some reason. So guys, I'm just saying that uh, how do I say this? <laughs> women think that. Uh, autistic men <laughs> are better because they are more honest than men like us that are speaking the truth already, right? They don't like that men know this information. So um, yeah, I just want to like spread that knowledge, guys, that women out here are, um, a, they're really, they know that we're consuming this red pill content or anything like MGTOW related, semen retention, all that stuff. They know. So guys, like, uh, be careful when you mention red pill content. Say you don't know, guys. Say you've never heard of this stuff. Like, just pretend you don't watch this stuff, but understand, be aware that, like, that's how, if you if you mention that you watch and consume this, they're gonna, like, really flip the script on you and see, like, what how much you do know. Because this content is to understand women. So if they know there's a kink in your armor, guys, they're gonna exploit it by just, they're gonna fuck with you, bro. They're gonna... Uh, sh oh my god, I got some shaming language. The shaming language I got in that conversation was uh, you're probably because you're probably just uh, focusing on those types of women. Oh my god, that was it. And I was like, oh no, like that's that's what you have to be aware of when you start opening your mouth to these women, guys. Like, again, more my fault that I opened my goddamn mouth to this woman and exposed that I told her about red pill content, but that's like a strategy for you guys. Like, when you're talking to women, don't mention that stuff, all right. And guys, if they, like I said, if they're the, the, a, a big major red flag is if they're considering about dating autistic men and they mention love on the spectrum. Guys, just run away. <laughs> just run away, guys. I can't make this shit up, bro. But like, I just want to bring you like real conversations from the real world and like help you guys like, well, guys, help me out here because I'm, I'm like, I, I don't even know anymore. It's, it's so funny because that's the type of conversations like if yeah guys I, I don't even i'm speechless right now so um yeah guys <laughs> uh yeah i have nothing else to talk about this video but um until next one all right peace guys